sometimes that I have to tell you to fix this damn door, Charlie. I have pigeons that listen better than you do. Cut. I'm just trying to be here in peace and quiet, Charlie. Peace and quiet. department store would like to buy your house. And the paper's right here. I'm finished with my lunch. I'm not moving anywhere. Get out of my home. Have you forgotten who you're talking to? I'm Harold Strauss, and I said bigger! Do I care how much it costs? You listen to me. You trim the fat. I don't care. You've got to have somebody there you can fire. And if you can't find them, fire yourself. <laughs> Smiggle me! I give you one simple job. Pull the car around. I hope you'll find that to your liking, Mrs. Herbert. May I call you Mabel? No. What would I do with a million dollars? I'm 86 years old. <laughs> you can live out the rest of your days in luxury. I've lived in this house for 48 years. I'm never leaving. Here is your check. Thank you. But no thank you. you can't refuse me. I... Imbecile. We'll build around her. Oh, Charlie. Maybe this isn't such a good idea. No, no hard I feelings. Ever leaving. Ever. Get out of my house.
we had a good run, didn't we, Charlie? So, is, uh, is it right to be doing business 15 minutes after her wake? Right? You want rank. There. Sign, and for a fraction of the price, like you should have done in the first place. Looks like we won, after all. Did we?